Many consider the energy transition as good and urgently needed to tackle climate change. However, making such transition is not easy and it comes with a lot of controversy. But experts maintain that it is necessary to accelerate the upscaling of renewable energy, but this clashes head-on with local and also more overarching concerns for society's use of resources, limits to growth, sustainability and democracy, and so on. So this is why I ask the key research question of what is the value of energy transition? Who gets to decide what is good and for whom and with what devices? Ultimately, how do we value value? The core concept of how I want to address this lies in the title, devising. I propose devising with a C as a new way to examine how important decision-making tools orchestrate transitions as either good or bad. Such devices, tools for calculating energy scenarios, simulation tools or contracts do more than provide numbers. They perform things according to values inscribed in them, devising values in the sense of inventing them. Considering how such devices work and their inherent politics opens up for the potential of re-devising, orchestrating transitions differently. My case is the Danish island of Bornholm, a so-called future energy island, a hub for massive amounts of renewable energy, far more than what Bornholm's 40,000 inhabitants can consume. It is promoted as a role model for future green societies. And as we speak, the design of the energy island is being defined primarily by these experts and their devices. Only they have access to what you could call the control room of decision-making devices. Let me give you an example. What could such a device look like? So, when the state wants wind farms up here, let's say, it invites companies to compete and meet certain qualifications. So far, the main criterion has been the lowest price assessed by a formula reflecting the single valuation of cost efficiency. Yet, a number of other networks of expertise have not been included, and they contest the cost efficiency valuation, raising concerns for things like sustainability, equity, safety, democracy. And so I dare to experiment with what happens if we include marginalized types of expertise and their concerns in the control room. The big high risk, high gain of the project lies in objective three of the project, where I probe opportune moments for re-devising. Here, we dare to enter the control room where devices are made. The aim is to create a space for re-orchestrating the entrenched networks of expertise. Experimenting with valuing differently. What will happen? Can the transition be better re-devised? And where are the limits for what can be devised? To prepare for this, we need to start back in the past, examining how and by whom the energy island vision was shaped. Only then can we understand current valuation struggles before engaging with redevising for the future. Combining valuation studies and the sociology of expertise, I use the notion of the good economy to shed light on how energy transitions are valued with which devices. With this, I aim to build a new constructivist field, a critical sociology of devising. This will push state of the art of two major fields. One, I push valuation studies into a new interventionist realm by experimenting with current valuation practices. And two, I contribute to the social acceptance literature by exposing exclusion processes that take place in devices long before public consultations, exposing concerns beyond the usual suspects of local engagement and community benefits. I aim to rethink expert-only approaches not only in the face of the great challenge of climate change, but also broader societal transitions.